Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to automate bulk document processing for Bamboo HR. Say there is a new NDA all your employees need to sign, or there is a new policy, or there is a new training, certification, whatever. You can use a software like DocuSign or any signature software, send requests in bulk to your employees, and then have an automation, bring those PDFs and upload them into the employee's profile in Bamboo HR. For doing so, I'm going to use make.com, which is a super easy platform to build these automations on. So let's jump right into it. I've uploaded a new NDA to DocuSign and send it to all employees in bulk. And this is how it looks like from an employee viewpoint. So they will receive an email. They will click on the link to sign this document. Hit finish. And the automation will grab this PDF and bring it un under their profile in Bamboo HR automatically. So this didn't happen yet. We have zero documents signed. I'm going to force this automation to run. This usually happens at every 15 minutes, but I'm going to force it to run right now. It's happening. There you go. Going back to Bamboo. I'm going to reload this page and there you go. We have one item is the new NDA. It says it can preview this file. I'm going to download it just to double check. And here it is. There you go. Hey, I'm Andres from Connects. We are an automations and integrations agency. We are both Bamboo HR partners as well as make.com partners. And if you're looking to automate these kind of workflows or any other of HR processes, feel free to reach out. There is a link in the description below where you can book a free discovery call with us. And uh, during a Zoom call, we can explore all your automation workflows or integrations projects together. Now, to build this automation, you need a make.com account. You can create one using the link in the description below as well. To create a free account, you can use the link in the description below. They have a generous free tier. And once you log in, you need to hit create a new scenario and you can start building your workflow. Now I've already done this in this scenario and this is how it looks like. So I have three steps for DocuSign. The first one will monitor new envelopes completed. Envelopes is the word for a new document signed in DocuSign. This runs every 15 minutes. You can uh, change this trigger frequency as well. And uh, well, after you connect your account, you need to select account in this drop down as well. And that's it. That's the only setup you need for this. Then the second module is to get that PDF, download that document. And what, what we are mapping here is the envelope ID coming from the first step from the watch envelope document completed module. And as you can see, the input is the envelope ID and the output is a file in PDF. So that's why we see these numbers here. The third step is to get a list of signers. Now there's no module for that on make.com. So we are doing a, an API call that's simple to do as well. You need to copy this URL and include the recipients your I in the URL as well, the way as it is. If this sounds too complicated, you can head to our blog, check the link in the description below as well, where I will provide with this blueprint so you can, you know, drag and drop and create this scenario automatically. You will only need to connect your DocuSign and Bamboo HR accounts, and that's it. So once we got the PDF and the signers, what we do now is to get a list of employees from Bamboo HR with this module and then upload the file to the specific employee on Bamboo HR. Now, how we do that, we have a filter here in place that will move forward only when the signer's email matches the work email of the Bamboo HR employee. So this module will give me the list of all Bamboo HR employees. This comes together with their work email. This will filter to that employee with the same email that signed this document. And finally, this will upload the file to Bamboo HR. The category we're using, so we're mapping here the employee ID coming from step four. The category ID is 12, which is for signed documents. And then we map the file, bringing in the data from step two and the email subject from step one. So, you know, if we send a different document, this will change as well. This will run for every envelope signed. So if there is a new employee that signs the new document, this will run again and 
this filter will make sure that the PDF will be uploaded to that employee only. This same workflow will serve you for any kind of document that you send through DocuSign. So it being an onboarding process, a performance review sign-offs, policy acknowledgements, new NDAs, contract renewals, amendments, um, training, certifications, tracking, exit interviews, and benefit enrollment forms as well. Let me know if you have any questions, drop in a comment below or reach out if you need help implementing these workflows. Cheers.